Hello, I'm Catherine Egan and I'm here at the Chagas National Beef Conference in Athenry. I'm joined this evening by Katie Quigley from ICBF. Katie, you gave a very interesting presentation. We're seeing the myostatin gene is very visible around the rings this year. What is the myostatin gene and how can farmers use it? Why is it so important? Yeah, so the myostatin gene is a gene in cattle that regulates muscle growth and muscle development. There are a number of mutations that occur within the gene that render the gene inactive, so it can carry out its function to regulate muscle growth and development. So we see that these mutations are associated with those double-muscled uh, beef animals. And you mentioned the different variations of the myostatin gene. What are the advantages and disadvantages the farmers should be aware of? Yeah, so we see some myostatin mutations are associated with improved carcass merit, um, but on the other hand, there are some myostatin mutations that have implications on calving traits, and in particular, calving difficulty. And how can the myostatin status work for bee farmers along with the breeding indexes when they're making their breeding decisions? Yeah. So I suppose the farmer needs to be aware of both the myostatin status of the dam, but also the sire, um, and to know what they're looking for in the calf that they want to produce, um, and also to be mindful to look at the overall uh, evaluations as well. That's great. Thanks very much, Katie. Katie's full presentation and all other presentations for tonight are available on the Chagas website at www.chagas.ie.